My name is Kyle Solkar, and I love BMWs and particularly M3s. And I'm always on the hunt for the nicest ones. And this time, I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride. All right, you guys arrived in New York City, and we're about to find the car. Oh, here we go. Just, just uh, got it. Things good here. Definitely. Guys, we got it, the deal is done, and we are here in New York City. Definitely, definitely don't want a car in New York City. I parked this thing and had fun for a couple days. All right, you guys, so I had a couple fun days in New York, lots and lots of red wine and good times with friends, but now it's time to go back to uh, Chicago, obviously. I drove the car for like five minutes in the middle of New York, so really wasn't able to look at it that much. Uh, didn't drive it very much. But I will say it was definitely um, really good. You could tell it was like a brand new E46 because it's like so mint and has so much maintenance done. But we'll get to that in a little bit. But excited to spend a lot of time with the car now. So let's go uh, get some breakfast, some coffee, and start the journey. This really sketchy parking garage. Hopefully they didn't mess it up anymore, but what would I know? So let's go. Probably on the way there, or definitely when I get back, but I'll as well. So let's keep going. Essentials when you're driving an old car. You know where you're going. Let's get it. That works. Like this, if you guys see how dirty this thing is, I already tried to wipe it down with water earlier, but all this stuff is super nasty. So I got this kit at Best Buy. Figured they had something to clean screens, which whatever, I just need something to clean in a, in a rag, and that's what this is. So, going to clean this off and never be gross like this again. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Look at how, look at how dirty that is. You can't even read the text. Wait until we're done. you guys so we are about two three hours into the drive so far so good the alignment is definitely very off we got a little buddy on the cluster now uh, service engine soon light which is oh you know amazing it's exactly what we want but in all seriousness the car is driving fine it's probably like an o2 sensor or something like that um, but whatever uh, we'll fix it when we get home everything's good otherwise though um, temp is solid you know we've been cruising at a steady pace for a while So the oil temperature is perfect, the coolant temperature is perfect. We've been cruising along for quite a bit now, 120 miles deep so far, and everything's been great. Uh, just put the top up because it was getting a little bit cold, but probably gonna put it down a little bit later. They kind of alternate between the two, but for now, gonna listen to some music on this transmitter setup that I got from Best Buy, working great, and some you know podcasts and interviews and stuff like that. You know, I like audiobooks and like CEO interviews and whatnot so gonna listen to those for a while alternate a bit just knock out some time might stop at cleveland might not and uh yeah really scenic though gotta love it i'm in uh, pennsylvania right now and uh there's a lot of nice stuff all right you guys we're still trucking along uh, 761 miles log so far definitely getting a little more tired but we're only 40 minutes away from Chicago now um, really hoping I don't have to fill the tank again because I don't feel like stopping uh, especially at some sketchy gas station but I might have to car says 13 miles to empty GPS says like 30 you know 43 miles so that means that it would be like 30 miles which is like a gallon and a half of gas probably that's needed to do that range and yeah so I don't know, as you can tell I'm starting to get very tired uh, but good enough to drive everything's fine and uh, yeah we're gonna make 
New York to Chicago in a day. So almost all like three something now with the time change. So let's get it. What's going on, you guys? We are back. Yes, I was a little tired after that drive. Uh, I'm glad that you guys were able to stay with me on that. It was like 11 hours, probably more than that with stops. Uh, but got back at like 3.30 a.m. And uh, now we're back at the office. And I just want to give you a quick little rundown of the car. I uh, haven't done absolutely anything to it yet. I just rinsed it off when I got back. I uh, just got a little walk around. This fender is kind of okay. The door is kind of okay. This rear quarter panel, I'm going to try and buff this stuff out and see where we're at. The rear bumper needs to be repainted. Um, the... Rear quarter panel is the most damage is right here. I'm gonna buff this out and PDR this panel and see how much we could salvage if we can. The door also, same kind of deal. And uh, the front is, uh, front is fine. Hood might need to be painted. And then the front bumper definitely needs to be repainted. Um, and then the wheels are really bad. The tires are great. Wheels are all beat up. But thanks to Oliver, Oliver flipped the camera around. on the boy. <laughs> he just picked up a new set of Super Mint style 67s. Got Michelin Pilot Super Sports on them, so that's awesome. Uh, actually, do they have Michelin Pilot Super Sports on them? Okay, some of them have Michelin Pilot Super Sports on them. I think the fronts, but the rears are different, which are their Tiger Paws, which not the same. But okay, fine. Anyways, they look clean. It's hard to find mints to these, so we're gonna start by swapping those onto there, washing the car, buffing the car, and sanding some of those scratches out, and seeing where we're at. And then I will work on figuring out what we have to paint and what we don't have to because the less that we have to paint, the less expensive and the more original we keep the car. Yeah, future Kyle here. That is not what we did literally at all, but uh, keep watching to see how it turns out because it's going to be crazy. So that's always the goal. And uh, I'll show you guys the interior once I clean it out a little bit. It was a road trip car, so uh, it is dirty and it was super grimy as you guys saw in that Best Buy parking lot. So gonna have to do a lot of detailing there, but uh, let's get this thing wrapped up a little bit and then reassess after we do what we gotta do to start it off. So let's go. Kinda selective with that because I don't have space. So. All right, the wheels are on, looking a lot better. Just to show you guys, this was like a painted wheel that was all messed up. And one tire had a bubble in it, so those are ready to look so much better. Now we're gonna hit it with a quick wash. All right, you guys, so got the new roof uh, here, which I really love. I've wanted one for a while and finally just pulled the trigger because I'm always detailing cars and stuff. But if you look here, uh, the damage is obviously very bad. Uh, this might be able to be buffed in PDR. I know there's still gonna be chips, but my goal is to make it look as best as possible. If not, it's just good practice and fulfilling to do. And there's a dent here with a little scrape here also. So probably the worst you guys will ever see this. Uh, this is the original paint, so uh, might be able to be restored and might be worth restoring. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that now. So here's where that didn't necessarily work out super well. Uh, after going over the whole car, I really realized that there were so many problems. You know, the front bumper was just obliterated. The front hood uh, was repaired very poorly. The rear bumper was all messed up. Uh, the door and the, uh, the do both doors had dents in them and the actual trim on the sides had scratches in them that were beyond buffing. Uh, so like I said, this was pretty much just straight practice uh, with the Roops polisher because I could, you know, kind of go through the paint as much as I wanted to to see how much give I had. But I did end up taking it to the body shop, obviously, and uh, we decided to do something pretty epic. So with that being said, let's get back into the video. All right, you guys, we are at the body shop. we we'll check in. Leaving the body shop right now. Uh, I think the car is in great hands. Uh, the guys here at Addison Auto Body do great work. They actually did some work on my old Range Rover. That was fantastic. Uh, and yeah, we're almost doing like full repaint. I wouldn't really consider it a full repaint, but 
painting a lot of the panels, majority of them, because it just needs to happen. So after some discussion with Mario, the owner over at the body shop, uh, we decided to do a complete respray on the car, which I'll get into later as to exactly why, but this is actually an iPhone video he sent me, which was super cool of him uh, to keep me updated on the progress. So we did everything from the fenders, the hood, and obviously everything in between. And uh, this is in kind of the primer stage of everything coming together very, very nicely. So I thought this was a cool little thing to add in to show you guys uh, how the car looked when it was completely bare, you know, getting primed and sanded. And then of course it was time to lay down the mystic blue paint you guys can see absolutely everything is taken off the doors uh the trim on the inside etc and it's looking absolutely incredible uh it's so cool to see the car like this kind of completely stripped down and uh you know with some fresh paint on it obviously you still have to buff and wet sand and all that good stuff but this is another one of those iphone videos uh that i was sent to keep up with the progress so i love seeing it like this obviously it's a lot more fun when you uh aren't doing the work yourself because it's definitely a lot a lot of work so they are professionals and it definitely looks the part so let's keep going all right you guys so it's been a little while since the last update and for good reason you guys are going to see here in a little bit what we've been doing to the car so at the office now going to head in the car and uh, pick this thing up and show you guys what we've done. So let's go. All right, you guys, so we're at the body shop right now. I'm gonna do a quick inspection on the car. Uh, like you guys saw, we did get the car fully repainted. Uh, it wasn't gonna be that at first, but then push came to shove and I was like, okay, well, we might as well have everything matched at the end of the day. Gonna you know, look around the car for any little details, anything that's standing out, if there are any, and uh, get paid up. We'll head back to the office. Okay, so I'm significantly more poor now than we left the body shop. What do you think? Did we get a good deal? Yeah? All right, you guys, we are back at the office, and I'm gonna give you a closer look. As you can see, this thing is shining like crazy. Everything top to bottom was repainted. Uh, including the hood, the fenders, the, yeah, like you said, top to bottom, which is absolutely insane. You look at all of the lines on the car, they are super straight. All the bodywork was done incredibly well. Have you guys noticed uh, when the bodywork was getting done, obviously there looked like there was a lot of filler on the car, but what they have to do is skim it and uh, then sand it down. So if there is any filler, it's very, very minimal. And for the damage that wasn't able to be pulled out, but most of the stuff was pulled out. And uh, you know, that's why the lines are super, super straight. But if you look here, everything is looking super fresh. The bumper was in really bad shape before, and now you guys can see they made it look beautiful. The lines are just looking great. If you look, this is in the dead sun, any car looking in the dead sun like this is always crazy and uh that looks awesome so there's no lines here at all fenders were also done there was a little uh, scratch there that was also repaired yeah looking crazy all right you guys so we are back at the office with the 2003 and a half e46 m3 that you guys saw i picked up in new york i'm super excited to have this car completed this is the most extensive amount of paint work i've ever done uh, obviously with a shop because they're professional they did work on my range rover they did work on an audi that i had as well and it was always phenomenal so i trusted them in doing this uh, at first we were just going to do the hood the front and rear bumper uh, and the quarter panel repair but then we realized that you know one thing wasn't going to match the next so then it turns into the door having to be blended into the quarter and then the quarter needed to be blending into the fender to match properly so we said hey you know what we're going to strip the car down take the doors off take all the trim off take the bumpers off everything and just go full on restoration and uh, respray so everything with this mystic blue paint matches perfect every panel matches and every panel was painted and typically i'm a guy who does not love uh, to do paint work but in this particular scenario it needed to be done to preserve this car in my opinion there was no doing like a half-ass job you had to really do it properly and, and that's what we did here so everything was blocked down and every little dent was pulled that was here and scratches and anything any issues the front bumper and the rear bumper were completely mangled before from all the new york uh you know bumper to bumper traffic and uh obviously parking there is not so good so those were all refurbished and we were able to salvage that which is great i hate having to throw stuff away if i don't need to those look fantastic we plugged up the front license plate holes 
uh, and did pretty much everything we needed to do to make this car uh, as good as new. Literally, this car looks fantastic. Like I said, it has 67,000 miles, one owner, and literally tens of thousands of dollars in recent maintenance. Uh, the clutch is done, the center support bearing, the rod bearings, literally through and through this car is perfect. And uh, it's really hard to find a clean one owner, perfectly maintained car. So that's why I went through all this trouble going to New York and picking it up. And I wanna show you guys kind of what you can do with cars online. It's very difficult to find the perfect car, uh, but you kind of have to make your own perfect car. And uh, for that reason, that's why I did exactly this. So with that being said, guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not. Subscribe would mean the absolute world to me. Stay posted on all my different Instagrams, at uh, Soulcar Media for the behind the scenes and at Kyle Soulcar for all my personal stuff. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little episode and I will see you in the next video. Peace.